again we have a problem from Newton's second law related to concept of connected particles question says two particles of mass 5 kg and 8 kg are connected by light inextensible a string passing over a fixed a smooth pulley so even if I have not written a smooth this is a smooth pulley so we have 5 kg mass there is two masses one is 5 kg and there is another mass that is 8 kg so we have two masses attached by inextensible thread the string system is released from the rest when both portion of the string is vertical and both part kill at a height of 3 meter above the ground so initially both are at the same level let us say initially these two part kills or these two objects are in this level this is the initial level and that is basically 3 meter from ground so this distance that is the height of object is 3 meter from ground so this is the initial position of object So this is the initial position of object. So one object is here and another object is here. We're getting so this object is here in this plane somewhere here. Let me write. So this object is here. These two objects are in the same plane. Now the question says in the subsequent motion the 8 kg mass hits the ground and does not rebound so what is happening this mass comes down so this is a motion this goes up and this mass hits the ground and does not rebound find the greatest height reached by the 5 kg mass if the pulley is such is of such height that mass never reaches the pulley so we have to find greatest height reached by this 5 kg mass and we have to assume this mass is not going to collide with this pulley so we have to find greatest height reached by 5 kg so what is the maximum height that is reached by 5 kg mass so let us fast figure what will happen so initially this mass will come down and this mass will go up so when this mass will travel down by 3 meter this mass will go up by 3 meter so sometime this mass will be here so this mass will reach at a height of 3 meter and this mass will be here that is at ground so this is after some time these two masses will be here and here now at this time this mass will be here and the string will be slacked so if you see what will happen at this time so this is your pulley this mass is here now this mass is at ground this is your ground at this time this mass will gain a velocity v and this mass will have zero velocity because this is now on the ground so now slowly slowly this a string will become slack this will go with velocity v and this a string will become slack so maximum height gained by this object with velocity v so we have to find basically total height from the ground so initially let us first find acceleration and then we can discuss so acceleration finding is easy so force is acting let us say this side we have force 8z this side we have force 5z and there is a tension t that is acting in the string there is a tension t this side acting in the string for this object I can write equation at z minus t is equals to mass into acceleration similarly for this mass I can write equation t minus 5z is equals to mass into acceleration now if I add these two equation we will have 13z is equals to uh, this is basically 3z so this is now 13z so 3z is equals to 13a so acceleration in this case is 3y 13z now this is moving with this acceleration so 
what will happen what will be the velocity when it reaches 3 meter height so when this object is reaches at a 3 meter height so we can calculate velocity of object velocity of object when it covers a distance of 3 meter so we can apply v s square minus u s square is equals to 2 a s now final velocity we have to find initial velocity is 0 and acceleration is given that is 3 by 13 z and distance travel is 3 meter so you see it will travel a distance 3 meter this distance and then it will come to the rest so distance travel is 3 meter so this is 3 into 3 into 2 so 6 12 by 3 z and this is under root so if I take under root so that will give you velocity so velocity is equals to under root 12 by 13 z now at this time now this is simply as a free fall after this slack this string becomes slack now this is a free fall so after this this will go with a free fall or you can say this is a motion under gravity so now this is a situation of motion under gravity so this is a situation of motion under gravity so we can apply so maximum height attained that is v s square by 2 z we can also apply this formula v s square minus u s square is equals to 2 s again v s square minus u s square is equals to 2 s final velocity in this case is 0 and u is initial velocity is this one so 12 by 13 z and our acceleration this time is minus z and this tense table is s so z also goes so we will have s is equals to 6 by 13 x is equals to 6 by 13 meter what is the total height from the ground so initially it was 3 meter height initial situation it has traveled at 3 meter height and then it is again travel v square by 2g so total height is 6 plus so total height from ground total height from ground this is equals to 6 plus 6 by 13 meter are you getting you understand yourself so this is the ground initially these two object was here so one is here one is here after some time when this object is here and so and let us say this is a this is b when a is here b is here now this is in the rest now it has a velocity v so this is going and apply basically cover a distance v square by 2z so total distance is this is 3 meter this is also 3 meter so total distance is 6 meter plus v square by 2z and v square by 2z is nothing but 6 by 13 meter so this is 6 plus 6 by 13 meter so total height from ground total height reached from ground this is equals to 6 plus 6 by 13 and that is equals to uh, basically I have done a calculation mistake here we have 3 into 3 into 2 that is 18 not 12 so everywhere I have to write 18 in place of 12 so this is 18 18 by 13 so this is again uh, 18 by 13 this is so we will have 9 by 13 so this is 9 by 13 this is 9 by 13 So this is 6, 9 by 3 meters. So this is the final answer.